yep. out of everybody like, coming from the 90s all the way to where he's at right now and being able to stand in the same name or well, being able to do what he's do in the same vein as a J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, these Ooh. type of artists. And he's still able to stand next toe to toe with these type of artists. Absolutely. I don't know. It's just it's just the people the fact that people always want to throw numbers in there. It's like, well, how many Grammys do we got? How what's what's his billboard charting look like? How many streams do we have? How many listeners? You know, how many social media followers do they? You know, they love to throw that shit in there. Like, what's his tour numbers and shit? Can he sell out arenas? This man, this yeah, yeah. man has performed at what Madison Madison Square Madison. He's performed at Carnegie Hall with the orchestra. Like, stop. Don't play with Nas name like that. Y'all be worried about the dumb social media shit. We talking about longevity. This man started his career in 1994. He had that his first album was very first motherfucking album as a teenager. Clear critically acclaimed. Critically acclaimed. That shit yeah. off gate. Off gate. Off yeah. gate. <laughs> critically acclaimed. That yeah, shit to, till this club. day. To this day, that's the shit that he was playing at Carnegie Hall. Like that's like, bruh. <laughs> Take the I time mean, making a classic. <laughs> exactly. And that's what I'm saying. Even off these last five projects, he's been able to make. It's like you can go back and listen to all five of these in a span of three years, and where we at right now. Oh, and he this said. Was- Yo, he said what I said this morning. I hadn't even listened to listened to the album yet. But you remember this morning what we was talking about when I was like, uh, these OGs running behind the children trying to get their attention yep. instead of perfecting their craft and getting better or bringing up other people that have their type of style and flow and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like trying to co-sign other people that are just as good as them. And he said it. He was like, he ain't running behind no children. He not doing yeah. it. He not trying to impress children. He out here. He out here rapping, rapping. <laughs> we need some better projects with Jada Kiss as far yes. as the albums, Perk. That's what it is with Jada. Need some better album projects because that's what Nas is out here doing right now. I mean, maybe Hit make, Hit Boy might be that guy. Let's come say the day for some of our elder rappers. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, I feel like that's what uh, some of the problem is. Well, I feel like one, our elders ain't trying to uh, the work. And now when I say the work, I mean like I, mean, I, I don't know. I don't know if they know how to sit down and do it, like do it anymore. Because it's like it's like music is so different, and most people are they. And it depends on if it's worth it or business. <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah. Nas might not necessarily need the money from rap, and that's why he could take the time to do what he's doing with the music. At the I same believe, time, he's still selling music too because he's Nas. Nice. So it's like yeah, different. I man. believe he don't need the money because he made a big deal. He wasn't even making music when he made his last like big business deal, and I think it was like with Ring. And I, I think with the uh, the liquor. Oh yeah, he been doing a lot with that. Perfect. You um talk um <clears throat> you talking about Jada Kiss? I feel like a lot of his well, not a lot, but most of his albums ain't really like being ones that you can go back to like that or classics. If you ask, he me got, he got classic albums, songs and he yeah. got classic verses, but does he have got does he have classic albums? I would even say his debut album with I would say his debut album is a classic, just because of the songs. It's certain songs on there like um we gonna make it. The one he got with Pharrell, I forgot the name of it, but... Knock Yourself Out. Yeah, Knock Yourself Out. That debut album, <laughs> I would say, is a classic. Kiss the Game Goodbye. Yes. See, I, I, can't I, don't, think I, don't, I gotta go find that album. I don't even remember that. <laughs> is that a J.D. Kiss album? I'm about to look at I ain't even trying to be disrespectful, but no, I don't even remember that. The last J.D. Kiss album I listened to was Top 5 Dead or Alive. But, uh... We're talking about from that age range. Oh, that's he just came up with that in 2020. Oh, yeah, I might have to go back and see what's up with that because I did not, I don't know nothing about that. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to check that out from Jada. I don't know nothing about it. Um, 
once again, these five albums, outside of what he's already created with, uh, you know, It Was Written, Steel Maddox, Godsons. I'm trying to figure out where you could place these albums in his legacy. What uh, number is this? <laughs> uh, his albums go Illmatic, It Was Written, I Am, Nostradamus, Steel Maddox, The Lost Tapes, Godson, Street Disciple, Hip Hop Is Dead, Nas. That's the one he tried to call nigga, but they was not going to let him. Mm -hmm. um, Distant Relatives, Life Is Good, Nazir, The Lost Tapes 2, King Disease, King Disease 2, Magic, I lost King count. Disease 3, Magic 2. <laughs> uh, I like Life That's, is Good too. I forgot life about that. I like that one. Right I do. I like that Life one. is Good. It um Life is Good, it was written. And um damn it. I am. To me, those are like the albums that a lot of people don't go back and listen to and they really should. Cause they solid the albums. I I am was the beginning of his hate me now era though. So like a lot of people hate, a lot of people get that album hate just because of he was going he was being real Hollywood at that point in time. Like he was being real like a, a real industry nigga at that point in time. And that's when and then like so he came out with I am in 1999 and then he dropped Nostradamus in 1999 too. So. Uh, and you had yeah. Jay Z coming at him at that time. Pretty yeah. Much him out. yeah, yeah. That's then he dropped Steel Matic in two thousand one. But yeah, I am. Mm, I that's that's one of my favorite albums. But like, just look over Hate Me Now. I like Hate Me Now, but like I get why people wasn't feeling that. And then Nostradamus is that's. I would put that as his weakest album, unless you want to argue that's about thing. lost tapes too. Uh, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, I think a lot of that production on Nostradamus was Puffy. And see, a lot of people might have been at that time like, man, you know, Puffy, and Biggie, come on now, that should be a great combination right there. With nine. I don't know what it was, but whatever it was, it was not working. And it's it is, and a lot of it is the production because like he only had what. Two singles off that album? 